Before I get into my thoughts on this film, I want you to know that I have not read the book, so I will not be comparing or contrasting the book to the film in this video. If you're okay with that, I will proceed. Thank you. Gone Girl. In my opinion, it's pretty good. The story follows Nick Dunn, played by Ben Affleck. After coming home on his anniversary to discover his wife Amy is missing, he initiates an investigation that gets controversial fast. Clues are followed, leading us on a dark and disturbing journey, and by the end, you may find yourself questioning whether getting married is a good idea or not. Prior to seeing this film, my day was going okay. I wasn't feeling happy or sad, I was just meh. When I left the cinema, I felt cold and empty. Funny enough though, this is a well-crafted film. The acting across the board is great, and Rosamund Pike along with Neil Patrick Harris are especially phenomenal. I also enjoyed the score and the photography, which was most impressive during an underground interview sequence. Where I think the film could have improved is its supporting characters, subplots, the ending, and the pacing. Coming in at two and a half hours, I am shocked to say that Fincher's last effort, Dragon Tattoo, which is ten minutes longer, flew by faster than this movie did. This movie is emotionally exhausting. When it comes to the ending, some will argue it is perfect. I came out of the cinema very much so on the fence about it. But after mulling it over, I have decided it is too clean and perfect an ending. A certain future is suggested, and I for one cannot see it realistically playing out. It is the definition of a screwed up fantasy. Last but not least, there are two female characters who are either unnecessary or not properly utilized. One of them is introduced abruptly and leads us into a cliche side story that feels tacked on and just adds to the running time. The second female is Nick's sister, who is present throughout the story. I liked her character, but she never really has an impact on anything. And it's mentioned repeatedly how she hates Nick's wife, Amy. But to my recollection, Amy never once mentions her, and we never see the two of them in a flashback sequence together showing how or why she hates Amy. So for me, those words were hollow. Overall, Gone Girl is a shocking film, but not the kind that inspires me. Over the years, I've rewatched a few of Fincher's films, either for school, personal, or YouTube reasons, but I must admit that I really have no desire to ever revisit this one. That being said, I give Gone Girl 3 out of 5 stars. Thank you very much for your time. Have an awesome day.